Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Solution from here, from what is given here, k times k, we can write that as k square, then minus. We have k times k times k, that's k cube, now equals to 150 from here. And next step here, Let's take 150 to this side and this becomes k square minus k cube minus 150 now equals to 0 here. And from here, we can rewrite minus 150 as minus 25 minus 125. That is here, we can write this now as k square minus k cube then minus 25 minus 125 equals to zero from here and next step we can also write 25 as 5 square and 125 as 5 cube then this become k square minus k cube then minus 5 square minus 5 cube equals to 0 from here. And here let's bring the squares together and the cube together. And here we have k square minus 5 square then minus k cube minus 5 cube equals to 0 from here. And here, we group this as k square minus 5 square together here. Then we factor minus out here. We have minus into bracket k cube plus 5 cube close bracket now equals to 0. And here we have this follow difference of 2 square. That is, we can write this bracket as k plus 5 multiplied by k minus 5, then minus also this follows sum of 2 cube. This same thing as into bracket k plus 5, then times k square minus k times 5, that's 5k, then plus 5 square. That's 25, which is equals to 0 from here. Our next step here, k plus 5 is common. So we factor k plus 5 out. Then here we are left with k minus 5. And here we are left with minus into bracket k square minus 5k plus 25. Then close bracket, which is equals to zero. And here we can also simplify this further, and this becomes k plus five. Then into bracket, here we have k minus five. The minus open this bracket, we have minus k square. Then plus five k minus twenty five. Close bracket equals to zero. And here, solving for the year, we still have k plus 5. Then, into bracket, we can rearrange this now. That is, we write k squared as minus k squared. Then, k plus 5k equals plus 6k. Then, minus 5 minus 25 equals minus 30. Then, close bracket equals to 0 from here. And from what we have here, we have two possible cases. We have k plus 5 equals to 0 or we have minus k square plus 6k minus 30 equals to 0. Then from here, we solve on this side and take 5 to this side. Then we have k equals to minus 5. 
from here then solving this side here let's multiply through by minus one so as to remove this minus then this become k square then minus 6k plus 30 equals to zero here then we have a quadratic equation where a equals to one and b equals to minus six c equals to 30 and using the quadratic equation which is now k equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a then here this becomes k equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 30 then divided by 2 times 1 then when we simplify from here we have k equals to minus times minus that's plus so we have 6 plus or minus square root of here minus is square that's 36 then minus 4 times 1 times 30 that's 120 then over 2 that is here this becomes k equals to 6 plus or minus square root of minus 84 over 2 here and also we can write here and this become k equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 4 times 21 then times minus 1 we give us minus 84 then divided by 2 from here and we can also separate this and we have k equals to 6 plus or minus root 4 times root 21 times root minus 1 then over 2 and this becomes k equals to 6 plus or minus root 4 that's 2 then we have root 21 then root minus 1 here is i which is complex number divided by 2 and from what we have here we can factor 2 out of here and we have k equals to 2 into bracket 3 plus or minus root 21 i left here then divided by 2 and here these two cancel each other and we now have k equals to 3 plus or minus root 21i. Therefore, we have two other complex solutions from here, which implies altogether we have three solutions. The first solution here, which is k1, now equals to minus 1. Then we have the second from here, which is k2 equals to 3 plus root 21 i then we have k3 equals to 3 minus root 21 i so therefore we have one resolution and two complex solutions and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell see you next class and bye for now